Well, it is, of course, now, of course, 16 days of activism against women and child abuse, the time when we get to create social awareness, create conversations, and start talking about that. And now, in its fifth year, the Sarki Bartman Center for Women and Children will be hosting their Air Your Dirty Laundry campaign, which is an annual event that raises awareness around women and child violence. We have a group here that is, of course, called Heal the Hood. They've been doing great work all across communities here in the Western Cape, creating social awareness about important issues. And they're here in advance of the campaign. Here they go. It began in Africa. Give me a break. Just, just running man, running man there. Listen, love this guy's talent. Love it very much. Thank you very much, lads. Right now, it's time to find out more about the campaign and what Heal the Hood is doing to bring the message across. Ilana, over to you. We are creating awareness on 16 days of activism and Heal the Hood. They literally cleaned the floor there. Well, Emil is from Heal the Hood. And we also have Shahima in our studio, director of the Saki Bartman Center, who does amazing work. I've been to your center before. What do you aim to do with this whole campaign? Well, we want to give kids the opportunity to have their voices heard. Those are the kids that, you know, they are lost in the system. Mm -hmm. So it's about giving them the opportunity to paint their messages on T-shirts about how violence impacts their lives. Emil, why did you want Heal the Hood to be part of this initiative? I mean, those dancers are great, and yeah. I see them carrying that message on their chests with their, with their T-shirts. Yeah, for us it's about, you know, trying to get young people to see um, ways of survival mm. using their artistic ability, and also for me, it's important to know your heritage. And I mean, Sarki Bartman, the history of Sarki Bartman herself, 
It's about understanding that so that we can solve the problems in our country. You know, we need to actually have a sense of self-worth and know where we're from and who we are in order for us to, to solve these problems. Shahima, dancing is a lot of fun. And I mean, we associate it with joy. But then we see that we're talking here about violence against women and children. Uh, tell me more about the campaign and also your future plans, not just for the centre, but with this campaign as it's running in its fifth year. Yes. Well, as you said, in the fifth year, and we're so excited to give kids the opportunity to share their experiences. But the Sarke Bartman Centre doesn't only focus on the community. We look at South Africa and the context that we live in. Violence has become such a problem. We are faced with a war that's happening within the confines of our homes. And for the centre itself, we're looking at expanding our critical services that are so needed. Why is it so important for women and children to, I mean, have these messages on our clothes or to even hang them up for the world to see? They've been silenced for way too long. Mm. And we have to, you know, as a South African society, stand up and say that enough is enough. So who better to hear it from? The mouths of babes. Ah, oh, mm -hmm. the mouths of babes. Well, we're creating awareness about this. Thank you so much for bringing this message to us. You, Emil, with your team and I must no say they're all men, uh, being supportive of women and children and exactly. all the best with the Saki Bartman Center. We really, really appreciate it. Well, to get more information about 16 days of activism, you can visit our Facebook page. We want to speak out about this and we're bringing all those feel good memories and vibes to the show. This is your feel good breakfast show. You're watching SA. ABC3. We'll be back after the break.